Hey, traveling cakes. <laughs> Lori, Cindy, hey, everyone. All right, we are live on two platforms this morning. Hey, Lorena, good to see you. Oh, Christine, this is a great treat. Nicole, good morning. So I want um, to know if our Instagrammers can hear audio. And I would also love to know if our YouTubers can hear audio as well. It's my first time double streaming at the same time. Technology at its greatest. Hey, Ayana, good to see you. <laughs> you can use traveling cakes. Awesome. I like the thumbs up. All right. So I'm just waiting for our YouTubers to tell me if audio is happening here. We'll wait just another moment before we get started. Hey, Claudia, good morning. Thank you, Cindy. All right, good. Happy anniversary, Lori. Yeah, that's a that's an exciting day, Lori. Hey, Leland, can you tell me if the audio sounds okay through the YouTube stream? I'm using a little fancy setup. If you guys saw my thing here, you'd, you'd laugh. I got like a mic here, got a light there. I got a phone, I got a computer, I got all this stuff. I got some candles. I wonder who gave me those, Nicole. Let's see. All right, thumbs up. 35 years, that is inspirational, Lori. Well, I'm thrilled to be here for our second week in a, in a row. Now this meditation series on Tuesday morning is um, being hosted by Warriors for Life America, Leland Holgate and his team, which is just amazing. And so I'm very honored to be part of this team. Leland is doing great things for our veterans. Meditation benefits every human being and every animal, <laughs> but especially people who have been through trauma, people who have experienced hardship. Meditation can do wonders for that group as well as every group. So I'm so glad that um, I have the opportunity to lead meditations for Warriors for Life America. If you haven't checked out their website or their YouTube channel, please do. Exactly, 2020 is forcing us to get into more tech. I know, right? Okay, so last week I gave kind of an introduction on some very basic meditation techniques. And to many people, meditating is daunting. We think that it's something very hard to do, very challenging to do and very complicated, but it's, it's none of those things. Meditation is the simplest thing, <laughs> but it takes effort. It takes practice, right? So, oh, hey there, Allie. We've got Canada in the house. Hey, Melissa, good to see you. Hey. It's the simplest thing to do, but it takes practice. Why? Because our minds and our emotions and our energy is not trained to be calm. They're not trained to be calm. We're constantly bombarded with stimulus all the time. Look, the entire advertising industry is based on bombarding us with stimuli all day long. Look at this, buy this, wear this, do this and be cool. Everyone else is doing it. And it keeps our mind looking and wanting and reaching and needing all the things that are not already here. And that's a big problem for peace and for reducing suffering. That's why a daily meditation practice is so, so ultra important. So let's talk about more techniques. So last week, and of course the video from last week is on the Warriors for Life America YouTube channel. It's a 30 minute video. We talked about Ujjayi breath. We talked about self healing, a self healing technique, Kriya. So you can watch that for sure. Today we'll get a little bit more advanced. We'll do some alternate nostril breathing. For those of you who know me, that's one of my favorite things to do. Alternate nostril breathing balances our yin and yang nature. So, I'm going to give you a little theory like I always like to do because I like to talk, <laughs> but no, I want to give you the philosophy behind the techniques that we do. Um, let's do a quick little introduction into, into yoga and meditation, just a really quick one, because I want you to know where this stuff comes from and why, and why we actually do it. So meditation sometimes is vague, right? I want to give you a definition of it. So if someone asks you, what is meditation? What would you say? Well, it's kind of hard to define. Is it calming the mind? 
Is it breathing deeply? Is it sitting tall in a cross-legged position? What is the actual definition? Well, here's a definition that can shed some light. Meditation is two things. It's a process and a state. So a process and a state of being by which the mind is brought under control so it can ultimately be transcended. A process and a state by which the mind is brought under control so it can ultimately be transcended. Now, if the mind is brought under control, who is doing the controlling? Aha. <laughs> if you're controlling your mind, who are you if you're not your mind? Chew on that for a minute. What do you think? Well, modern science can't answer that, to be quite honest with you. Yogic science can. And in yogic philosophy, the brilliant yogic scientists of ancient times, they tell us that you are spirit. You are conscious spirit. I am conscious spirit temporarily using this brain and this body to interact with the world. The sacred, exactly. And once we realize that slash remember that slash know that slash be that, then we can bring our mind under control so it can be transcended consciously, not just during our dream state or doing a drug-induced state. Some of us do to, to reach those, those states. And yeah, there, there are lots of shortcuts, but meditation is the real work, right? So knowing, knowing the definition of meditation, it's a process and a state by which the mind is brought under control so it can ultimately be transcended. I'm going to read one more definition. And this is from the original teaching on yoga, the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. And I'm going to use this book here called The Secret of the Yoga Sutra by Pandit Rajmani Tigunayat. So let me read the definition now of yoga. The definition of yoga. All right. Yoga is complete mastery over the roaming tendencies of the mind. Yoga is complete mastery over the roaming tendencies of the mind. Well, to me, that sounds oddly similar to the definition of meditation that I read earlier. So would it stand to reason that yoga and meditation are one and the same? Well, in the classical traditional sense, yes, yoga is meditation. Yoga is the techniques of meditating. Hey, Devin, good morning. All the techniques that we use, breathing, focus, awareness, energy manipulation, that's meditating. That's meditation. And yes, physical yoga has evolved. Some people say it's devolved, but it's evolved and changed and morphed into, a, into exercise, into physical um, exertion, fancy physical shapes. But the ultimate goal, let's not forget what it is, is to transcend the mind. Right? All right, without further ado, let's tune in and turn on our energy. Let's begin to control our mind through controlling our energy. So we'll do two meditation practices between now and 8 a.m. The first one will be very simple. So please sit tall. Make sure you're comfortable. So the requirements for a proper meditation pose, tall spine, comfortable seat, doesn't matter what your legs look like, you can sit in a chair. So I'm sitting in a chair today. Yeah, you can sit in a chair, put your lower back against the back of the chair, be comfy, but keep your spine activated and keep the muscles to keep you upright engaged. So we want to have some musculature activity there. All right. If your feet are resting on the floor, so make sure they're planted. If they're cross-legged or if they're folded back, just make sure everything is still and relaxed and calm. Let the shoulders relax. Let the face relax. Excuse me. Maybe do a little shoulder dance, a little wiggle with the body to make sure nothing is tense and flexed. We don't want that. Let's take a deep inhale. Please breathe in. Open your mouth, exhale. Do that again. Inhale big, but this time hold the breath. Holding. Keep growing the crown of the head towards your ceiling. Shoulders stay relaxed, face stays calm, then open the mouth and exhale. We're gonna chant three ohms together. So sing a mantra with vibration helps calm our energy, smooth our energy, and prepare us for meditation. So let's chant together three times. We prepare. Take a deep breath. 
and exhale. Breathe in. Make the M sound longer than the AU sound. Inhale. Om. And again, breathe in. Focus on the sound, the lingering eternal vibration of your voice, the word OM and the bowl. The physical vibrations may dissipate and your physical ears may cease to continue to perceive the sound, but the sound does not leave, the sound stays. The vibrations remain eternally, so feel them Allow your physical body to be imbued with this sacred syllable, OM. It's as if we've just struck a tuning fork and your being is being tuned up. So allow that to happen as you breathe calmly and slowly. Place a gentle constriction in the throat. We talked about Ujjayi breathing last class. Very gentle. Very subtle inhales and exhales. Please bring your attention to the nostrils. Become hyper aware, hypersensitive of every subtle sensation that you feel in the nostrils. It's not an area of the body that you typically focus on, but I want you to be very curious about the airflow passing against the skin of the nose, the inner nose. You might even be sensitive, sensitive enough to feel air passing over the turbinates the nostril hairs, and deeper into the nasal cavity. Raise your sensitivity. And now trace the entire pathway of the air as it moves through the nostrils, down the trachea, the windpipe, down into the lungs. The lungs expand as you inhale. And then trace the path as the air exits the body, the lungs will gently contract and the air moves back up and out the nose. Keep the shoulders relaxed, don't let them lift. The collarbones lift as you breathe, but not the shoulders. Resolving any inconsistencies or roughness in the breath, refining the smoothness, refining the attitude of the breath, making it as smooth and even as possible because the brain will follow. For the next minute, See how focused your mind can be on just the breath. If the mind wanders to anything else, temperature in the room, wind, noises outside, level of hunger in the body, just bring it back to the breath. See how long you can keep the mind on the breath without letting it travel or wander.
Use your willpower, use your effort to keep the mind still for the next 30 seconds. Lower the chin. Slowly open the eyes. Okay, now that our body is a little bit more calm, our energy is a little bit more smoothed out, let's introduce alternate nostril breathing into positive affirmation meditation. So I mentioned at the beginning of our session that alternate nostril breathing is one of my favorite things. It balances our lefts and rights, ups and downs. So the wise yogi named Patanjali who lived 200 BC, he teaches us that when we are balanced, when we have our energy balanced, the words that he chooses to describe the state that we achieve are very curious. He says that we are no longer assaulted by the pairs of opposites in the world. When we balance our own nature, we're no longer assaulted by happiness and sadness, ups and downs, boys and girls, mean and nice that happen to us in the dramas of our lives. So how would you like to arm yourself, armor yourself, protect yourself against all societal drama? How cool would that be? Well, alternate nostril breathing is one of the techniques to do that. So why does it work? Well, when we... Breathe through one nostril and then the other. There's some physiology that's happening, but there's also some energy work that's happening. So take your right hand. So there are several physical methods to do this, but let's just talk about this one today. We're going to close the peace fingers. So you have your thumb and your last two fingers out of your right hand. Bring the palm towards the face and just practice pressing the thumb gently against the right nostril, closing it. Then practice taking your pinky and ring finger and gently closing the left nostril. So we're going to do a rhythm of left and right, and it'll guide us through. So the physiology that's happening, so the air is passing alternately through each nostril, obviously, right? The brain hemispheres are being affected. So the olfactory nerves, so the nerve endings that are living in the surface of the nostril, the olfactory is our sense of smell. And the nerves that are there receive chemicals in the air and transmit to our brain. And then we smell things. <laughs> when you stimulate one side of the olfactory nerves than the other, you're physically vibrating each brain hemisphere in succession. You're physically tuning or stimulating or smoothing left hemisphere when you breathe through the right nostril, right hemisphere when you breathe through the left nostril. And when you do it rhythmically and slowly, the brain is balanced. The brain is balanced, right? Now that's the physiology. The metaphysiology behind alternate nostril breathing, which so we're getting a little spiritual here, if, if you'll just humor me for a moment. Some of you might not resonate with this part, but many yogis do. Prana or life force, you know, this magic energy that rides on the air that we breathe. You know, you balance our ma masculine and feminine, our yin and yang energetic qualities by stimulating half of the body than the other half. And so when we stimulate the nadis, the energetic channels that begin at either nostril, you're literally smoothing and balancing our energy. So that's the metaphysiology. And then the physiology are the old, is the olfactory nerves. All right. So we'll do um, the technique. It's referred to as Nadi Shodhana, cleansing the nadis or alternate nostril breathing. 
In the morning time, we typically will inhale through the right because that's the masculine, the, the rising of the sun, the new energy of the day. And if we do alternate nostril breathing in the evening, we breathe through the left first. So we'll start with right. So it'll be like this, inhale right, exhale left. Inhale left, exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left. Inhale left, exhale right. And if you've studied with me before, um, you'll probably remember that we will add retention. So after about a minute or two of doing this, we'll add the hold after the inhale, right? So you hold the breath for a few seconds. We're going to go for about a six second inhale and a six second exhale, and then a three or four second retention. All right. And then after about four or five minutes of breathing, we'll enter our positive affirmation meditation to close out our session. All right. So let's Sit tall again, please. Adjust what needs to be adjusted. Take a few breaths to prepare. Let's get the sense of what a six second inhale feels like. So inhale, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. That's about what six seconds feels like. Bend your right elbow, close your peace fingers, bring the palm towards the face. We're gonna close the left nostril first, Inhale through the right nostril. Close the right, open the left, exhale through left. Keep the left open, inhale left. Exhale right. Keep the right open, inhale right. Exhale left. Continue, inhale left. Exhale right. So continue this. I want you to be sensitive to the energy now. So not only are you focusing on the air itself, but I want you to sense that you're breathing in streams of life, streams of prana, streams of energy, and it's not confined to the nasal cavity. It's not confined to the lungs. The energy that you're breathing in goes all through the body, permeates, satiates the brain, all the tissues. So please continue. Make sure the face stays relaxed. Make sure the shoulders stay soft. Okay, now add the retentions after each inhale. So full, after the full inhale, full lungs, hold the breath. Three or four seconds, whatever is comfortable for you, and then exhale. So we're taking full breaths, remember, all the way in and all the way out, each breath. Another 30 seconds. Please continue. Sense that the energy is moving through the entire body, not just through the breathing structures. Okay, 
So one more complete cycle of in right, out left, in left, out right. After you finish, just let your hands rest in the lap or on the knees. Be as still as you can. Allow the breathing now to become completely involuntary. So let go of any breathing technique. Just be still and just sense that the body is now balanced. The mind is balanced. Our energy is balanced. And it's from this place that we're able to plan, plan for our work day, plan for our week, prepare for activity, Prepare for interaction, mindful, mindful interaction. Now let's please move your awareness to the place in your body where you feel intuition. It might be your stomach, it might be your heart, it might be behind the eyes, or it might be your general aura. And just put your awareness there for a moment. And we'll repeat these three positive affirmations together. So I'll say them audibly so you can hear me and then you can repeat them either aloud or silently to yourself, your choice. I live an awesome life. I learn and grow wiser every day. I move toward my ultimate potential every day. I live an awesome life. I learn and grow wiser every day. I move toward my ultimate potential every day. I live an awesome life. I learn and grow wiser every day. I move toward my ultimate potential every day. And now before we end our session, keeping the eyes closed, walk through your perfect day from 8 a.m. until you go to sleep tonight. Walk through it right now. See and feel the ultimate potential of your day.
Let's take a deep inhale, please. Open the mouth, exhale. Again, breathe in big. Hold the breath. Bring a smile to your face while you're holding the breath because everything is good. Open the mouth, exhale. Bring the palms together, please. Rub the hands. Press the palms firmly so you feel heat being generated. Generate some good prana between the palms. Rub them. Friction, a little faster. Now put the palms onto your eyes. Feel good energy moving in through the eyes, into the brain, into the body. Keep the hands there and slowly open the eyes. And then move the hands gently away from the face. Okay, everyone. Thank you for joining. Leland, thank you for hosting. So this video will be available on Warriors for Life America and on Instagram. Have a beautiful day, everyone. See you next Tuesday right here, 7.30 a.m. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.